Hi everyone and welcome back. Uh, so after doing basic 2D transformations that is translation, rotation and scaling, we are shifting our focus to 2D reflection. Okay, so the next transformation that we are going to learn is, uh, is reflection. And when I say the word reflection, it means that um, we are going to create a mirror image. Basically, so my mirror image could be here. My mirror image could be uh, in the third quadrant, in the fourth quadrant, or else anywhere. So that is what I want to do. So uh, when I say um, uh, uh, 2D reflection, so 2D reflection is uh, I want to create a mirror image into any of the uh, quadrants, basically. So this means a mirror image to be created. Okay, so that is what we want to learn uh, in 2D reflection. And we also want to see what are the transformation matrices accordingly. Okay, so uh, in a single uh, diagram, we would like to show you uh, the different uh, transformations and uh, on 2D reflection and uh, what will be the possible outcomes. Okay, so uh, this is a point for me that's P, X, comma, Y. Okay, now I need to, I need to reflect this. Okay, so reflecting is, uh, when I say we, we had done rotation and scaling, rotation and scaling required a reference point. Okay, but when I talk about reflection, reflection requires a line. So uh, the second point to note down is, uh, uh, reflection is mirror image. And with that, we also need to note down is, reflection is, done taking a, a reference line into consideration a reference line okay using a reference line and not a reference point so when i try to do a reflection using a reference line what happens is when uh, this is my original position that is p x comma y now i want to reflect this about y axis okay so i want to reflect this about y axis so this is my y-axis, okay, and now I wish to reflect this particular point by y-axis. And if I want to reflect this point by y-axis, so my direction would be somewhere here, the reflection direction. Okay, so from, from my first quadrant, I move on to my second quadrant as it is reflection about y-axis. Okay, so if it is reflection about y-axis, I get my output somewhere here that is p dash, x dash, y dash. Okay, so the first thing that we have learned is reflection about y-axis. Okay, and whenever there is reflection about y-axis, what is going to change, right? If it is reflection about y-axis, your y would remain the same. What is going to change is only x changes. And what changes in x is the sign changes in x. So what will be my final output now with respect to x dash and y dash? Since these are my outputs, that is x dash and y dash. One thing is very obvious that your y is not going to change. So my original y, my final output y will be same as my original y. That's the initial position. What changes is x dash. And what is going to change in x dash is the x was positive in the first quadrant and now it becomes what? Negative. So taking the initial point into consideration that is x, now it becomes minus x. So these are the changes that is going to happen when I do reflection about which axis, y axis. Okay, now we just see what will be the output when I draw it using a matrix. Okay, so reflection about y axis, we are trying to get the transformation matrix for it. Right, so how do I denote reflection RFX? Right, and I'm going to do about which axis, y axis. So RFX stands for reflection. Y stands for I'm doing it about Y axis. Now we see what will be the matrix for it, right? And we also know that, so this is implied that I'm going to multiply it with point coordinates. That is X, Y, 1. I'm writing it so that it becomes easier for us to put the values out here, right? So, uh, so my first row says that my X dash should be equal to minus X. 
so whenever my first value is multiplied by x it should negate so this value will be minus 1 right in my first row i want only minus x no other value so 0 0 similarly my second row is y dash is equal to y so i need to multiply y with a 1 so this value will be 1 rest everything will be a 0 and your last value will be 0 0 1 okay so this will be the reflection matrix about y axis that is what we have solved here right similarly when i want to do it so we try out for the second case when i want to do reflection about x axis right so we just quickly uh, draw our coordinate x y my original point 3x comma y right now when i say that i want to do it about x axis that is about this particular axis what will change my point will go in this particular direction and my output will be formed somewhere out here that is p dash x dash y dash right so if i am drawing it vertically down that means which value is going to change the value that is changing is y value is changing as this comes out to be minus y in the fourth quadrant the x value remains the same so whenever it is reflection about x axis your x remains the same only your y changes so we quickly write down what is the output for x dash and y dash so my x remains the same so my output x is same as original x and my y dash that's my output y changes to the negated value of the original value so that becomes minus y so these are your final coordinates when it is reflection about x axis now we quickly draw the uh, matrix for it and we also see what is the denotion for it so reflection about x axis so rfx about x axis is equal to what so multiplied by uh, your point matrix x y 1 the first row is x dash is equal to x so i need to multiply x with a 1 to get the final output so 1 0 0 so it's my first row my second row says y dash is equal to minus y so y has to be multiplied with minus 1 rest everything will be a 0 right and the last value will be 0 0 1 okay so this is reflection about which axis this is reflection about x axis okay so we have done two types of reflections one is reflection about y axis one is reflection about x axis right so now we see reflection about x y axis so our a third type of reflection would be reflection about x y axis right so basically what are we trying to say here when i say x y axis is so this is your minus x this is your minus y so if my point is somewhere out here that is p x comma y in my first quadrant i am trying to put it in the third quadrant directly so that means i am i am doing reflection in x axis also and in y axis also so I am trying to put my point across out here with the output as P dash X dash Y dash, right? So this will be my final output when I am trying to do reflection about X, Y axis. So my X dash will be, so from first quadrant to third quadrant, my X changes from positive to negative, so minus X my y dash would be changing from the first quadrant to the third quadrant it will be minus y okay so both the values will negate in this case as it is nothing but a diagonal uh, reflection so when it's a diagonal reflection both the values will be negated right so, so we quickly write down the uh, reflection matrix rfx x y so this is with respect to x and y both okay so my first value x dash is equal to minus x so minus 1 0 0 0 minus 1 0 0 0 1 as both the values are negative 
right so uh, you would have also observed one thing that in reflection you get only diagonal values right and the values are either one or else minus one please have a note so reflection matrix only diagonal values exist and the values are also one and a minus one so wherever you wish to change you put a minus one wherever there is no change you put a a uh, positive one right so this is all about your reflection so it's three types of reflections that we have seen here so one is a uh, reflection so i just put uh, quickly uh, put it up here so we have done a uh, reflection so rfx about x axis so we have done rfx about y axis and we have done rfx about x y axis okay so in our next session we are going to see reflection about a line that is y is equal to mx plus c right so please don't miss out that session so we are going to do reflection about any arbitrary line given to us so thank you stay safe